What is up guys, welcome back to Team Lit and today we are doing Werner's deck profile. He won the most recent Dark World Structure Deck Mat tournament and he was playing a very interesting deck. What are you playing Werner? I was playing Skate Claws, pure Skate Claws. Why? Why were you playing Skate Claws? Um, for the format it's just, you have a big boss monster, everything goes to defense mode, it's pretty... Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's pretty good, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. You know? <laughs> I'm just gonna like, edit it out, kind of thing, you know. How, 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 and uh, and your matchups? How, how yeah, what, what did you go up against? Okay, so I went up against Tia Ishizu, Shiv. Then I went up against Jax Kashkira. I went up against Andres Dino and Tasha Sorsa. Okay, and and how were all those matches? I mean, I lost one game out of the whole four matchups okay. and that was against Andre so the rest is pretty decent okay I just have to make one note that I when me and Tash played in the finals there was a incident where he ashed me and then we said there was no ash and then yeah <laughs> just want to make that note yeah. Yeah. okay no no we don't we don't worry about the mistakes so the deck stomped okay cool only lost one <clears throat> undefeated just undefeated. only lost a single game okay there we go all right that is, yeah, like, that is very good okay then I guess we can get to all right, what were you play? Uh, show us the cards that you were playing on Sunday then. All right, I was playing Skate Claws. All right. So we started with three Skate Claw right cards. Yeah. It's a base monster, you summon it, you get to search any Skate Claw spell or trap. If there's three or more defenses, position monsters on the field, on the field you get to draw a card, which is nice. Okay. So you're trying to resolve this like. Every at the turn. End of, yeah, every turn, but in, at the end of most of your plays. Okay. Three Astra, so he's nice because he gives the boss monster the ability to attack uh, up to the number of Skakel defense mission monsters on the field. Oh, okay. So it's good for going it's second. Good, yeah. It's good for going second, it's nice there because yeah, it just allows you to attack at any time. So. Okay. Third is Acro. Acro gives him the ability to attack or gain 300 attack for every Skakel. Defense position monster on the field. Okay. Boosts his attack, which is nice. And the last one is Skate Claw Below. What does that do? So he does piercing damage. Oh, okay. So it doesn't really come up a lot because it does piercing damage. Most of the time you're just attacking for game because you've got so many defense position monsters anyway. Yeah. And I usually just side one out if I side. Okay. But the nice thing about the Skate Claw cards is they inherent summons, so they can just spam the field. If you've got two, if you've got so many lanes in hand, you just spam the field, and then most of your plays just go off. Okay. Thirty one by the Star Frost. I mean, you can search it off the field spell. It's a tuner. If he's on the field and uh, light on is engraved, you just special summon or something. Okay. So one should do the thing, but it does come up. Okay. Then for the Skate Law spells, I play three rifle, uh, two permits of Banner Black Phobia. I mean, Light Todd is, is the ability to search this. This card does so much. At, so, at, just, like, why don't you play three instead of two? Because you can search it. This is okay. Because all these cards, well, all of these, allows you to link someone into Light Todd. Light Todd searches it and then you just get it going. Okay. Cool. But the nice thing about this is your, your opponent loses 100 attack and defense for every defense position monster on the field. If there's three or more defense position monsters on the field, you can pop a card your opponent controls. Okay. So it does quite a lot. Then you play three escape or rival. This is the monster you want for the deck. The nice thing about this card is it's not once per turn. So if you have multiple, you can just monster reborn him that many times. Okay. You do monster reborn him in defense position though, but it's not too bad. And another graveyard effect that this thing has is if my Skate Claw link one stay in the extra monsters are moved to the by battle or card effect, you can just banish this card instead. So that protects it as well. Okay. Uh, one Skate Claw decline. This is a nice late game card, I'd say, because if you draw this and you've got no cards, you just add a right phobia. <laughs> from the field or the graveyard added to hand and then you can just uh, activate it again you get the effect going 
If there's three or more defense position monsters on the field, you can manage this card and any scarecrow card from your graveyard. So it's quite nice, it doesn't work. Then the two trap cards, scarecrow splash, and scarecrow twister. Splash is nice because it's only in the game. I mean, you can activate it, one of your monsters in defense position can attack while in defense mode, but I just use this for the for the Omni Negate effect. Okay. And the Twin Saw is like a Saw Saw Blackout. Tribute one scale to a monster, target two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. Okay. That's quite nice. They do have other effects, I just don't know what it is because I just didn't use it for that. Yeah. For the extenders that I play, I play two Fenrir. That's nice, you just special summon this card, get another card, it's interruption, yeah. they can break a board. It does quite a lot though. Okay. Self-explanatory. Then you play three parallel exceed. So parallel exceed is just there for when I go into the scape or link monster, the big guy. You just special summon this, special summon another one, and then you can go into two plays. Either IP okay. or you can go into a link exceeds uh, rank four. Like Dweller for example. Specifically Dweller. Oh, specific Dweller, okay. <laughs> or another one that I play is Babuska. Okay. What I like about Babuska is it's only activated effects that this card um, will stop. So all my monsters in the fence position, they're not activated effects. They're just the, constant. Precisely. Okay. So it's got some synergy with that. Right. And everything in the fence mode cannot activate the effects, so it's nice. And then for the hand traps that I play. Three Magnumid, okay. three Jurus Worm, and the one Serenia. It's nice, these cards just interrupt. The reason why I play them is for the tier matchup. It's the only reason why you play them. <laughs> Tears is very strong, and yeah. these cards just interrupt tier. Okay. Only one Serenia because you don't really use the effect. It's just yeah. a different name if you have Jurus Worm in hand. Okay. Which Magnum can search. Yeah. But how many cards is your deck? How many cards do you get in your deck? 43. 43, okay. For the other hand traps, D Shifter, obviously. Oh, okay. This card and DD Crow. So is it, but like, isn't there a conflict between your D Shifter and your cards? Because I mean, you play a rival, so doesn't that? Yeah, that's why. So yeah, that's the one thing I wanted to mention with yeah. the Scarecrow Arrival. It shuts off arrival. It shuts off. Okay. But if you have this card for follow up, I mean, this deck doesn't lose. If 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 your opponent knows what they're doing, yeah. they can outgrind you or outplay you. But usually, when they realize that all the monsters are in defense mode. They, not, they realize too late that okay, they should have done this play instead. Yeah. But then they might as well just in defense mode, so this is just for follow up. Okay. But yes, it does stop a couple of plays. Okay. Right? But it stops my opponent and then it stops him. And DD Crow because it's DD Crow. Yeah. What does it mean? It's a staple. 100%. And for the just extra cards, reinforcement army because it searches right, right card is a warrior monster, called by the grave obviously, and two <laughs> polys, super polys. So I actually want to ask you then, with the super polys, doesn't it, like aren't you afraid that like if you play against a tier matchup, doesn't, isn't this card just like a dead card because it triggers their monsters in the grave? Oh, 100%. But what I've realized is if you do it after they've done all their plays, and they've already activated the cards, it does nothing for them. Okay. Alright. So this is just interruption, knowing when to interrupt is the big thing. Yeah. And once they've committed all their plays and they've got nothing else to activate, you just super party them. Okay. Alright. And then the extra deck. Yeah. So, we've got two Light Heart. Okay. And two Tri Heart. So these are your Skate Claw Monsters? These are the Skate Claw Monsters. They're the only extra deck monsters that we've got. Okay. Light Heart is nice because in the extra monster zone, if you special summon, you can add the, the fuel spell, okay. which is nice. The fuel spell gets into the other players. Basically, one card into your big boy. Yeah. And about try hard. Oh yeah, the one thing about the light card that I want to say is, if Vices is on the grave, yes. or he's on the field, and she's in the graveyard, you can once per duel effect to special summon herself back. Okay. So that's nice. And then try hard. Yeah. Chad is the big boy. He puts everything in defense mode. He's unaffected by defense position monsters. Once per turn, you can special summon a level three skate claw from extra deck, and then you can search a skate claw. Extra deck. Oh, from the grave. Sorry. So usually, what I do is you search, you special summon any of your level threes, yeah. whichever one is there. 
and then you can search your right card, you can search on the right card, then you can activate the effect to add and then to draw a card. So that's why you just wait to have at least three of the face special marks yeah. fulfilled, but then you will have it because you can just special summon it. Okay. Well, that's the big boy. All right, now let's see what you've done for the, for the rest of the Yeah, for the rest of the extra deck, yeah. So you play dark. Okay. Dark, I mean your. I got these are dark. Yeah, so, so it just can work well. <laughs> you play one IP. Because, like I said, with um, Paralytic Seed, you can either go into the rank 4 or you can go into IP. IP is your interruption on your opponent's turn to go into Nightmare Unicorn. But the one thing that you have to note is with your big boy. Your right card, once you've activated the effect and resolve it, you cannot special summon anything by Skate or Monsters. Oh, okay. So you have to do this before and Okay. And then the one access code talker along with Underworld Goddess. Oh, okay. So close one. Yeah. This card comes up so much. You can spam your board with a bunch of um, level 3s and then you've got enough to just link away a problematic card. I had to do this once against a Dragoon. And then I just ended up winning the match. For the extra, for the super poly targets, starting Venom, Garura, and Nitro on the swap. Okay. Kind of obvious, self explanatory. Totally. Yeah. That's what he needs to do. And then Baron the Fleur, along with Dweller and Apple Blue Scout. So Baron you can make with your Rykot and your Vice Star Frost. Oh, okay. It's All a right. six and it's a four going cool. to Baron. Good to Baron. And Does it come up? Now and then. Okay. Not a whole lot. Depending on what your hand is and depending on what place you want to go into. Yeah. But it comes up more than you think. Oh, okay. And then obviously the first dweller, self explanatory against yeah. tears and Bumuska. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Verna, for the deck profile. Thank you for the deck profile, Verna, and you, hope you do well. <laughs> uh, hope to see you again soon. Hope you win another like another tournament for some reason and then just like see if you've updated the deck but yeah uh, if you enjoyed the video guys please like comment and subscribe and catch you again next time peace